Next, oil. It's one of the most important parts of your car, but one of the easiest to neglect. The stuff on here plays three crucial roles in the health of your engine. It lubricates the internals to prevent them from wearing out. It clings onto microscopic bits of debris to stop them from causing damage. And it cools the engine by transferring heat from the working parts. Half the cars on the road don't have enough oil in them. But just as important as the quantity is the age and quality of your oil. As oil ages, it becomes less effective. Let it go too far and it can actually damage your engine rather than protect it. This tasty Golf R32 is due an oil change, having done 10,000 miles since its last one. I'm taking a sample of its oil to the high-tech oil research laboratory of Intertech. By studying it at a molecular level, we'll see exactly what happens to oil as it gets older. I'll also test to find out if old oil makes your car slower. But first, laboratory manager Rob Chapman talks me through the sample. Rob, here I've got a brand new oil sample and also one that's done 10,000 miles. But the difference, just in colour alone, is phenomenal. So that would be due to oxidation of the oil and also small particles of wear from inside uh, an engine. What would happen if I left this oil in the engine for, I don't know, 50,000, 100,000 miles without changing it? Potentially, the small particles of wear would travel around the system and cause secondary damage, and eventually it could lead to the failure of an engine. Boom. As well as getting darker, oil's viscosity decreases as it ages and it becomes less effective as a lubricant. Our first test passes the sample through a glass capillary at 100 degrees Celsius. The faster it moves, the less viscous it is. The result of the viscosity test comes out 12.7 millimetres square per second. Compared against clean oil, which was 14.2, is showing a drop of about 15% or so. That means the oil is 15% less effective at lubricating the engine, resulting in more friction, wear and heat. Part of that drop is due to fuel seeping into the combustion chamber and thinning the oil. Our oil is actually 2.5% petrol. There are solid contaminants too. Over time, microscopic metal fragments break from the engine and are contained within the oil. To find out what our sample contains, Rob uses inductively coupled plasma atomic emission spectroscopy. This heats the oil to 10,000 degrees Celsius, causing it to atomise and emit light. Can I look in here? Yep. Can I see things like exploding? No, no, no. no. The colour of the light indicates which elements are present. So the analysis shown us that We've got copper, 54 ppm. Parts per million. Parts per million. Yep. And there's a bit of iron there, 23, 22 ppm. So they're the two elements that shouldn't be there in clean oil that are present in the used oil. Wow. The fragments measure less than a hundredth of a millimetre, but they can still cause friction, unwanted heat and wear. To reveal bigger, more damaging particles, we use an electron microscope. So they can be bits of metal, could be... Uh, bits of rust, or even a, looks like what's, there's a bug maybe in there as well. It does look like... Uh, have a look. That's incredible. My sample is typical of what your engine will contain when it's due an oil change, so I want to find out if it's already blunting performance. This Golf contains the oil we examined. I'm going to test it from 0 to 100 miles an hour with the old oil and again with the new oil to see if there's any difference. Our telemetry will reveal the result. Oh, off we go. Grunty little thing. 40 miles an hour, second gear. Third gear just sneaking 60. Foot flat on the throttle. 80 miles an hour, 90. We're in fourth gear. 6,000 RPM, touching 100. 17.9 seconds. After two more runs, I've got an average time of 17.86 seconds. Time to change the oil and head back out on track. Okay. Off we go. Grabbing second. Up to 60 miles an hour. It doesn't feel any faster from sat here behind the wheel. 
but whether the numbers will tell a different story, we'll soon find out. Oh, wow, 17.3. <gasps> it is quicker, over half a second quicker. It's not a fluke either. Again, I did two more runs, averaging 17.13 seconds, over half a second quicker than the old oil. Wow, I'm really surprised at that. The old oil's lower viscosity, microscopic metal debris, and of course the little bug, contributed to reducing the car's performance, and this would have got worse as the oil got older. There's no cheaper way of making your car go faster, so next time you're thinking of eking out a few extra miles before an oil change, remember you'll increase long-term wear and make your car go slower.